Okay, so guys, um, well, that was, um, that was a bit of a stinker that they, uh, put up last night. Uh, Leafs losing 4-1 in overtime. Can I even joke about that? No? Okay, well, the Leafs lose 4-1 to the Philadelphia Flyers, who I don't even recognize from last year. They're, they're very good. Can I just say... Sh sh um, Brian Burke who? Paul Holmgren. That guy said, you know, he inherited this team and went, hmm, they kind, they kind of suck. And just blew up the Flyers and got all these new players. Crazy. Really good. Raycroft again. <laughs> got a feel for the guy. Back to the Flyers, though. Edmonton, don't you feel a little bit silly? With your impatience there. Joffrey Lupul. Very, very good. Lately and last night for the Flyers. He's, he's really good. Back to the Leafs though. And this is the last thing I'll say about the Leafs. Because I actually have a story that I want to tell you boys and girls. Uh, Nick Antropov. Now, everybody keeps talking about... How great Nick Antropov has been this season. Oh, finally secondary scoring. Oh, finally playing to potential. But I don't care how many points he gets, as long as he leads the team in penalty minutes, I'm not all that enthused about him, to be completely honest. I don't think he's had a fight this season, and he leads the team in penalty minutes. That gives you an idea of how many stupid minor penalties... He has given the team. Look at look at how many times he's been in the box for goals lately. There was one, uh, I don't know about last night, but it was definitely the game before. And during the Carolina loss, I believe he was in the box as well in overtime. Terrible. But now, for story time, boys and girls. Anyway, um, I promised my friend uh, I would tell this story. Uh, I was at the NHL Awards last year, and it was really fun. And by last year, I mean still this year. It was in June. Um, and you might be saying, oh, Steve, you are lying. Really? Would a liar have an autographed program from the NHL Awards? We weren't really supposed to get these autographs. But that's uh, Kelly Rudy, who I will get to in a minute, and Scott Oak. Oh, and that's the thing we use for rehearsal. I was actually a seat filler, but I also helped them in rehearsal. It was a lot of fun. During rehearsal, this guy, Kelly Rudy, was uh, sitting in uh, the seats, you know, just before the show. Uh, a few hours, I don't know, I guess he was just hanging out. And he starts talking to me. I'm like, whoa, this is kind of cool, Kelly Rudy's talking to me, right? And he's, you know, just going on about stuff that I don't understand at all. And finally he goes, oh wait, you're not him. I'm like, not who? And he says, oh, uh, you're not John Tavares. Dude, you thought I was John Tavares? Look at me. I'm not John Tavares. He does this face a lot. Do I look like John Tavares? I don't think so. But, he's tearing up the World Juniors. Way to go, Johnny. Wish he could be a Leaf. I don't think it'll happen. Because that means the Leafs would have to come in last, and I don't think they're that bad. Um, although they haven't been very good lately. And I'm going to try to prep a picture for you guys. Just one sec. Should have had this done beforehand. Oh, well, I'm going to prep a picture of me actually at the NHL Awards. And if it doesn't work, I'm going to be heartbroken. And uh, I don't think it's going to work. Let's try it. <laughs> well, not so much, but remind me on my profile wall and on this video to upload a picture next time of me at the awards. It's actually 
a freeze frame of when Nicholas Lidstrom won the Norris. I was sitting right behind his family during the award show. Really cool. I saw George Snuffleupagus there, too. And he goes, see you after the show. He just said it to me. We've never, you know, formally met. I think he thought I was John Tavares, too. I'm confused. Uh, there were a couple girls there after the show that started talking to me because they thought I was Rod Brindamore's son. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be flattered by that. Great player. Kind of an ugly dude. Till next time.